Mr. Secretary General of ITU, ministers, excellencies, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and very warm greetings. On behalf of government of Pakistan, I thank the government of UAE for their warm hospitality that has, that has been extended to us here in the Bay on the sixth World Telecom Development Conference. It's a great honor for me to address this August gathering of leaders around the globe, high-level dignitaries and professionals to share our views on emerging trends and on matters of strategic importance to the development of the information and communication technology sector, especially in the context of this year's theme of the World Telecommunication Development Conference Broadband for Sustainable Development. Since 1947, Pakistan has a long history of significant contribution to the work of ITU that has been done to promote the mandate of the specialized organization of United Nations. ITU, through World Telecommunication Development Conferences, fosters international cooperation among ITU members and stakeholders on telecommunication and ICT development issues by providing the forum for discussion, information sharing, and consensus building on telecommunication, ICT technical issue, and policy issues. Such forums facilitate member states in formulation of effective strategies that would ultimately result in providing important services and benefits to people in their countries and across the globe. Before sharing the vision of our government, I would like to raise a very important issue on this floor. In an era where global connectivity is becoming a reality and nations are coming closer, when it comes to use of a common platform in con content and applications, we feel that while appreciating such platforms, we also need to consider any undesired outcomes related to advancements of, and proliferation of such technologies connecting the people around the globe. Although several countries have chalked out their cybersecurity measures and implemented their cybersecurity laws within their geographical boundaries, my point is that whether such isolated, independent efforts can really be effective in dealing with cybersecurity, which is an issue traversing the boundaries, my opinion is that we need to consider forming a global platform. Therefore, I urge ITU to provide the platform to deal with this issue and consider it in totality. I mean development of a uniform, homogeneous framework and also its implementation. We also need mutual treaties to show to the miscreants that there is no easy place for them in the world. I would like to take this opportunity to request my fellow member states to, urge, uh, to urgently focus on cyber security under the auspices of ITV, ITU to develop a harmonized law and a strategy so that we can use and leverage upon the connectivity with the confidence that it is secure. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to talk to you about the vision of the government of Pakistan and what we stand for today in this global nation. We are focusing on accelerated digitization. We are focusing on e-services, education, employment generation, and women empowerment. Our policies have earned worldwide acclaim and global acknowledgments. In spite of certain economic challenges currently faced by our country, the telecommunication sector of Pakistan has established itself as the national flag barrier of progress during the last decade and as one of the biggest contributors to Pakistan's fiscal growth. Ladies and gentlemen, in, vision, in pursuance of a vision of accelerated digitization, we decided to roll out the spectrum for next generation mobile broadband services for 3G and 4G in one go on April 23, 2014. Optic fiber cable and mobile broadband constitutes our basic infrastructure for sending out communication. We worked in both directions. Regarding auction of our spectrum, the vision is to give modernization to Pakistan in accordance with international best practices and global standards. 
It is important for us to bridge the gap in a way that Pakistan does not miss out on all the opportunities that technology gives to almost 60% of our youth population. It is, a, it is a ubiquitous development that we look, are looking at and the employment opportunities for almost 900,000 young, young people in next five years. The teledensity in Pakistan stands today at 73%. And with the spectrum auction, we expect to expand in the wireless brand bond, uh, broadband and laying of optic fiber cable network simultaneously. With our e-government plan, we are also then stirring a demand for our need to sustain ourselves to provide basic e-services to citizens of Pakistan. Our Universal Service Fund will be making telecenters in initially 500 undeserved areas, which will be providing e-services to citizens of the country. USF is also working on laying optic fiber cables in the far-flung areas and for rural telephony. USF has already laid 4,000 kilometers of optic fiber cable and it is constantly expanding on a daily basis. Our second venture is a research and development fund which gives out projects that are commercially viable. That industry owns not just the private sector but what the industry wants. Research and innovation to be in collaboration with the industry is the vision of my government. The industry can actually use those projects for the benefit of the masses. R&D fund is encouraging the IT industry to bring out proposals which can be used for deployment of e-agriculture, e-health, e-learning, e-policing, e-connectivity and e-commerce. This will encourage the IT industry to prepare the software that can be modeled by the government for these specific rollouts. One of our main priorities is to put the IT industry on the map of the world and of Pakistan as a whole. We have devised a mechanism for quality assurance which will ensure that when the international markets are searching for IT companies which can make products or develop applications for them, they can have an access to Pakistani ICT companies through a single platform of Pakistan Software Export Board. Pakistan Software Export Board is working to build technology parks which will foster a creative environment for ICT. The government is working to facilitate an environment of creativity, not only to provide an infrastructure, but this ambiance what brings certain outputs, a certain outputs of creativity. We also want to build industry and academia collaboration for sustainable development and growth. Recent development in the field of ICT have created numerous opportunities for people around the globe. As the role of the ICT has evolved into an enabler of growth, it is very important to provide universal, affordable, and equitable growth access to citizens so that they can reap maximum benefits from the wide-ranging available opportunities worldwide. We believe that proliferation of broadband is the modus operandi to, to achieve these goals, and we are geared in this direction. Improved access to our ICT and knowledge, education, and delivery of public services through advanced ICT facilities has greatly helped us in promoting growth and minimizing poverty in Pakistan. The availability of skilled professionals, comprehensive ICT infrastructure, coupled with affordable rates for connectivity, and government's business-friendly policies makes Pakistan an exceptional destination for foreign investors in the ICT sector. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of Government of Pakistan, I appreciate International Telecommunications Union assistance in the shape of international best practices for research and statistical data availability and professional consultancies for the least developed and developing countries through the Telecommunication Development Bureau. I would like to conclude by congratulating the ITU for building a network of cooperation amongst the member countries. I recently drafted the Cyber Crimes Bill for Pakistan, and I'm very obliged for the ITU to send out their consultant for finalizing the draft. I would like to once again thank the United Arab Emirates for hosting such an extravagant and excellent conference. In the end, I would request you to support Pakistan's candidature for the ITU Council seat, PP2014, scheduled to be held in Korea. Thank you very much for your audience. Congratulations. Allah Hafiz. Uh, goodbye. Thank you.